you'll sometimes have spatial data or feature classes, shape files, anything like that, that are missing attribute information. So there's no description attached to these particular data sets. But you have that information available in a separate layer or separate file and you'd like to create one combined layer. If you have similar keys, one is a primary key in one and a foreign key in the other, or similar keys that you can join in some way or the other, then you can do this using a join by attributes. For example, if I have a look at my geology layer here, I've got, I've got codes attached. I can also look at my zoning layer and see what is contained therein. And again, for example, here I've got codes. So it looks like I can join the codes in the zoning layer. If I open this table here, and I've got codes here as well, it looks like I can join on these layers to get a description of the zoning that is actually part of my feature class here. These zoning parcels or the AVEN, the, the boundaries of um, property. To do that, I do an attribute join. So I simply just look for the tool that I'd like to use, join attributes by field value. I'd like to join my zoning layer on the zoning fields with my zoning codes text file or DBF file on code. There are two options here, one to one and one to many. You can do either one. The one to many is that you can have multiple relationships attached to one code or one to one only one may be present. You can do an inner outer join as well. An inner join is you discard the values that you don't want, non-matching, and if you do an outer join, you will retain even the null values. So we'll do an outer join here. 352 features have not been matched in this case. Here's my joint layer. I can put it up above all the other ones to see what it looks like. If you open it up, open up the attribute table, you'll now see that Based on the codes in the zoning field, you now have descriptions of what that particular parcel looks like. You can zoom to the feature and identify it. And here the information tells you that it is has an ID of 07200100. And that's how you do how you would do an attribute.